Hi friends, welcome to today's class. In this class I am discussing exercise 1.1 question number 6 onwards. In the last class we discussed up to question questions 5. So let us see. Here is question number 6. Rita goes 20 km towards east from a point A to the point B. From here A to B it is 20 km. From B she moves 30 km towards west along the same road. After reaching B she moves return to the direction of west 30 km. If the distance towards east is represented by positive integer. So, from A to B it is positive integer. How will you represent the distance travelled towards west? From B to west direction, what will be the, or how will you represent the distance by which type of integer, whether positive or negative that you have to write. By which in integer will you represent her final position from A? Let us see. The first, how will you represent distance travelled towards west? If east is positive, the west obviously it is negative. So write negative integer. By which integer will you represent final position from A? So from A to B it is 20. So return B to A again it will be 20 then total 30 kilometer uh, Rita travelled. So B to A 20 then how much it will be? How, how many more kilometers she might have travelled? So 10 more kilometers she travelled towards west. So it will be negative 10. Look at question number 7. In a magic square each row, column and diagonal have the same sum. Check which of the following is a magic square. Do you know what, what is magic square? It's a square filled with the numbers. If you add these numbers in row ways, you, you should get the same answer. And you are adding this column ways then also you must get the same answer and if you adding in this way that is diagonal way then also you must get same value if it satisfies all these then we can call this square is a magic square now you have to check it first you can write taking rows so, three rows are there. First row is 5, negative 1, negative 4. You add it. 5 plus negative 1 plus negative 4. How will you get it? First you add same, the integers having same sign. That is negative 1 and negative 4 you can add first. So, you can write negative 1 plus negative 4 you will get a negative 5. So, you can write 5 plus negative 5. Now, different sign subtract. 5 minus 5, 0. So, taking first row, the sum is 0. Similarly, you have to do negative 5 plus negative 2 plus 7, 0 plus 3 plus negative 3. Then, after completing that, you have to take columns. Then you can write, column means 5, negative 5, 0. Next column, negative 1, negative 2, 3 negative 4, 7, negative 3. So, taking the first column, 5 plus negative 5 plus 0. 5 plus negative 5, it is different design, 5 minus 5, 0. 0 plus 0, you are getting 0. Similarly, you add negative 1 plus negative 2 plus 3, negative 4 plus 7 plus negative 3. Add the same sign first and different sign to that answer. So, do find out the sum of 
column base, sum of the numbers in column base. Now we have to take diagonal. Taking diagonals, diagonal is these are the numbers 5, negative 2, negative 3. You add it, add numbers with the same sign. What will you get? That also 5 plus negative 5, which is equal to 0. That means this diagonal is sum also you are getting 0. Do check the other diagonal. What are the numbers in the next diagonal? Negative 4, negative 2, 0. Do add it. Now, if you are getting all the sums 0, then you can say all the sums are equal. Here, uh, row wise, column wise, and all, first we are getting 0. So then, if every sum is equal to the same number, you can say it is a magic square. Do check the, do complete the first and then write the second two. Here is the question number 8. Verify a minus negative b is equal to a plus b for each of the following values of a and b. You are given two numbers. One a you are, look at the first question, a it is 21, b it is 80. Here you have to find out a minus negative b. b is equal to 80. What is negative b? That means opposite of 80. It is negative 80. Now you subtract negative 18 from 21. So you can write it as a minus negative b is equal to 21 minus negative 18. How will you subtract? You add the additive inverse. That is 21 plus change the sign of 18. So you will get that is 21 plus 18. You will get 21 plus 18, 39. Now find out a plus b. a plus b is equal to 21 plus 18. What is 21 plus 18? is equal to 39. Here also answer is 39. Here also answer is 39. So we can write a minus minus negative b is equal to a plus b. So we can conclude a minus negative b is equal to a plus b. In this way you do it second, third and fourth. Here is a question. Use the sign sign of greater than, less than or equal to in the box to make the statement true. In two sides, you are, some numbers are given. You have to find out the answer and check whether you have to use greater than, less than or equal sign in this box. So let us do the first one. First you find out negative 8 plus negative 4. Both are negative, so you add it. 8 plus 4, 12, then put the same sign, that is negative 12. Now find out negative 8 minus negative 4. Negative 8 minus negative 4, it is negative 8 plus additive inverse of 4, change the sign, it is 4. Now these two are different signs, so subtract and put the sign of the bigger number. What will you get? Negative 8 plus 4. That is 8 minus 4, 4. Bigger number sign is negative 8. Negative. So the answer is negative 4. Now you have two numbers. Negative 12, negative 4. Which one is greater? Negative 12 means 12 division below 0. Negative 4 means 4 division below 0. So, which one is greater? Yes, negative 4 is greater. So, 8 plus negative 4, negative 12, less than negative 4. So, here you have to write, next you have to write, negative 12 less than negative 4. So, we can write negative 8 plus negative 4, less than negative 8 minus negative 4. Similarly, do find out all these sums and put appropriate sign in the box. 
here is an interesting question a water tank has steps inside it a monkey is sitting in the topmost step that is the first step okay the water level is at the ninth step there are nine steps and the ninth step is water level he first question he jumps three steps down then jumps back two steps up in how many jumps will he reach the water level so in how many step he will reach in ninth step that is the question look at the first one in first jump where the position will be monkey standing in the first step three steps down means plus three in first jump the monkey will be at a fourth step then what will happen to the second jump in the second jump from four two steps up that means four minus two it is again it will be uh, monkey will be at a second step now next third jump means two plus three five again fourth jump five minus two three then three plus three six six minus two four similarly when it will reach in nine you find it out that is the first question if you are correctly calculate in nine nine in ninth step the monkey will reach in 11th attempt look at the second the same way after drinking water he wants to go back so it starts from nine from this he jumps four steps up that means in which step it will be nine minus four fifth step and then jumps back two steps that is five minus two three in the second attempt it will be in step number two again two plus four six then back six minus two four you find out in how many jumps it will reach in the first step and the third question if the number of steps moved down is represented by negative and the number of steps moved up by positive integers the representation his move part in 1 and 2 by completing the following first look negative 3 plus 2 that is the first step what is negative 3 plus 2 negative 1 so you have to get negative 8 as answer so 8 times negative 3 plus 2 minus negative 3 plus 2 minus negative 3 plus 2 you have to write until you get a negative 8 as answer in b 4 minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 you have to get answer 8 what is 4 minus 2 it is 2 so 4 minus 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 8 so you have to write 4 times 4 minus Two and last in a sum negative eight represent going down by eight steps. So what will be the sum eight in B represent? It is moving up, moving down. It is negative eight. So moving up, it will be positive. Here is the answers for exercise 1.1. After completing your notebooks, do check it with this answer. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.